You've got a highly educated lot more than I've got. I've never spoken to any group before. You have. You're a teacher. I said, yes, I got some questions, I said. You told about them running these goddamn cattle on on uh, till they couldn't stand it anymore. I said, you can't run cattle until they can't stand it. They'll give up on you and quit. It's true. Yeah. They'll I, lay down on you for they'll yeah, keep going. I was running the summer of, of Olympics. I said, up in the, uh, uh, Calgary, isn't that what the humans are doing, running themselves until they fall down right to the limit? Mm -hmm. Cattle won't do that. Cattle smarter than I people. I don't care. <laughs> How long you been a veterinary? There's 500 farmers out there, and they'll tell you cattle will not do that. Mm -hmm. Well, the goddamn state guys was listening to that stuff because we was talking. Mm -hmm. Jesus said. Then I said, and yeah, then you got one rule in there when it gets to a hundred and. Uh, Ninety something in the shade, where you quit the pool. I said, "Well, now don't that make that that don't make sense to any of us? Where are you going to put the thermometer? Out back where the cattle are? Uh, I mean, in back of the shade in the sun? Uh, in, in the in the shade, waiting for a three-minute pull?" <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, they only pull them for three minutes. This was a fucking educated. He minutes. was educated. I wasn't. Waiting for a three minute pull, it is actually five minutes. He says, and then if you decide to cancel it, you're up there. A day before Labor Day or something, or, uh, or a day. Uh, or a. Uh, on a Saturday, everybody's out of work and they've come to watch the pool. You cancel the pool and say come back tomorrow, if the temperature is right. I said, what kind of reasoning is that? Mm -hmm. That don't even, that defies common sense to me. Mm -hmm. And every time I, one of his questions, he would say, well, what I meant was, I said, don't tell me what you meant. Tell me what you told these people. That's the one that I'm questioning, not uh, what you want to come in with. Yeah. And, and now, now you want to say, right? you, you mean A me. second time. Yeah. And Jesus Christ will make up some more goddamn bullshit. Yeah. They said, Mr. Roberts, they said, you can't argue with this man. You are up here just to speak. You don't argue with it. But they waited until I got done arguing before they told me that. Every time. They listened to what I got to say, then they jumped on me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I picked that up. Right. Said, Jesus Christ, I ain't going to push him too far. Steve. <laughs> so he good. goes along and uh, he said, and no. I said, now another thing he was telling about. These cattle go out and they got the same nerves in their front feet, in their feet, in their heads as a human being. I said, well, the same nerve. I said, I saw on the state-supported Channel 10, I got that in there. <laughs> I said, the state-supported Channel 10, two billy goats and two bulls coming together at 35 miles an hour head on and crashing. When they got done, when they went off chewing their cut and grazing. Right, because they're so I said, delicate. Now explain to me. You can explain this one to me. I said, explain to me what you mean by having the same nerves as a human being. Supposing you came together at 35 miles an hour with another human being, you you would have a crushed skull. Mm -hmm. He says, well, uh, you were. Uh, you were supposed to uh, realize, I said, we wasn't supposed to realize nothing. You was doing the talking, what you said, <laughs> we was listening to, not what we were supposed to realize. Right. And by he Jesus, was speaking like a true politician. <laughs> yep. He was speaking like a true politician. <laughs> then I said, and what about in the winter? 
Anyone knows when you go out in the winter hauling logs in the woods with horses and oxen, you nail steel shoes right on their seat. And you go out there right in that zero weather all day, and they're healthier than the ones that are standing in the barn. Do you deny that? Healthier than the ones that stand in the barn? He said, well, uh, in a sense. I said, never mind the sense. You said that the cold, that, uh, that a uh, I mean, human being <laughs> had the same nerve. And I said, supposing you went out there and stood all day below zero in the snow. Exactly. I said, cattle and horses are healthier mm -hmm. if you keep them moving. I said, I got 500 people who know that right down there. And I said, another thing. I got a sense that you're talking that you can out talk 500 farmers who aren't stupid. I said, anyone who can make a living in the state of Maine in farming is not stupid. Jesus, that brought the friggin' house now. <laughs> well, yeah, you're talking to like Jesus at this time. Everybody there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I said thank you and sat down. Nice. <laughs> sat them straight. Who do you think won that goddamn thing? Well, they're still pulling at the fairs, so let's see. <laughs> right. I haven't heard. Probably gained a lot of respect. I haven't heard from that son of a bitch. Well, that's why the <clears throat> people all know me. Come on, buddy, you dare. Get your respect. Most of them who know me were not there, and they didn't know about it. They didn't know me back in cheese. The people that and they just no them, dessert. You know. But now. When I was coming out, a senator came up to me. Hmm? A former. He said, I'm a co-sponsor of this deal. Can you find the buzzing? Right. Hear it? Because <laughs> my constituents wanted me to. But after hearing you people talk, I got second thoughts. See, there's another politician afraid that she's going to lose Lord's vote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll go after you, too. Yeah. So I said, plastic well, I thing said, behind the oatmeal. I said, I'm all gone. I feel I gotta go home. I got to. I got to go to the train when the sun goes down and it gets a little cool. <laughs> 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 and, 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 uh, this goddamn politician. Hey, Steve. <laughs> One senator come up to me and said, I Thank mean, you. <laughs> I must have been no.